called Stitch One for Me, and it was written uh, thinking about, you know, you, you know people that don't quilt, right? And they'll probably look at you and say, well, when are you going to make one for me? <laughs> yeah? Well, um, when I went through chemo a year and a half ago, that's just what someone did. They made this quilt for me, and it's kind of a, it has things written all along the edges here and throughout the middle. You can look at it afterwards. Uh, but it's just beautiful, and so I got one stitched for me. So this one, this song is called that. It's called Stitch One for Me. It's got a nice little intro, intro for it. I've known you more than a dozen years. Back then you had a singer until you messed up the gears. And you think by now you surely would see that you really would like it if you stitch one for me. Well, you made a quilt for your Uncle Joe, your niece and your nephew, and someone you don't know. It seems like you make them for anyone you see. So I wouldn't mind, won't you stitch one for me? I don't know what else I can do to let you know my desire. So I keep dropping hints, hoping you'll finally see. I got to tell you when I receive it. Oh, Martha, you should sure know. <laughs> but you don't, so I just have to accept that this dream I have will never be. People, they get a quilt like this, you know, and I'm thinking, that's so fair, I never get one of those. <laughs> but did I finally get one? <laughs> but it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, the other day, uh, you were acting kind of funny, but how could I know that you had a surprise? And when you gave it to me, I couldn't believe it that you stitched one for me. I know I couldn't believe it that you stitched one for me. How did you know? Oh, Martha, you shouldn't have. Oh, but I'm glad you did. I love the color. No, it's perfect. How long have you been making it? That long? <laughs> That's about when I met you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.